After picking a fight with Penguin Zero, this terrible finance TikToker ruined his online career so much that he'd shamefully delete his TikTok and announce that he'd retired from making viral videos. He went by the name of Jason Wojo, and if you look up fake social media guru in the dictionary, his face will probably be there. Jason's Instagram has over 900,000 followers, although given he rarely cracks 2,000 likes and 10 comments on a post, it's no surprise that roughly 75% of his followers are fake accounts that Jason's likely paid for. The content itself is equally bad and predictable, being a mix of his luxury cars, motivational speeches and advice from his seminars, which might have also been staged to give him false credibility. Bro created 30 reels from one webinar, looks like everyone was a paid actor, stupid can't even fake it right. On top of this, Jason might be the first guru to brag about his cars in an Instagram description, although there's plenty of evidence to suggest he has no money at all. Your checking account should be close to zero dollars, and if it's not, that's a problem. On his Twitter, Jason claims to have generated a hundred million online, although that number was significantly lower in this video. I'm 25, I made like probably over eight million dollars so far in my life, and it's just really not that hard to make money. While on his LinkedIn, it's even lower again, stating his net worth at exactly three million. If he's telling the truth about this, his $500,000 $1,000 car collection is either rented, loaned, or downright stupid, as is his $40,000 watch, which he bragged about only one day after stating this. People who are actually making money don't have to act like it. It's called stealth wealth. <laughs> However, the most damning comment against Jason is one from his former editor, who wrote, have been working for Wojo from past three, four months as video editor. First two months were very good, but after that he didn't pay us all, and now he's not replying to anybody of us and has blocked us. So please be aware of this fraud Wojo, who call himself a multimillionaire, which he's not. If anybody knows him, please tell him to pay us. An excellent YouTuber called Marky then reached out to one of these unpaid editors, who provided a screenshot where Jason claimed he couldn't pay as, my Wise never worked. PayPal is down. International purchases my Amex won't accept. Upwork won't work. Even Cash App, Venmo, and etc. is down. The unpaid employee then suggested an easier way for Jason to pay him, although Jason ignored the message altogether, showing that he either didn't have the money or was simply refusing to pay, and both are equally terrible. 32 editors have come to the conclusion that you are a scammer. You won't get away with this. If you keep up with this, one day you're going to end up in jail or in a ditch, and a metaphorical ditch is where Jason Wojo would soon find himself. He began to post videos like this. I'm gonna tell you why going to the gym is a f waste of money. If you truly think that you getting bigger arms, getting bigger calves is gonna make you more money, you are very, very mistaken. People will say, going to the gym helps my mental out. No, it's because you have low self-esteem, so you have to look a certain way to feel confident about yourself. Essentially stating that exercising was a complete waste of time. How long do you go to the gym for every single morning? An hour to two hours plus showering. Two times 365 is 730 hours. If you have 730 hours in a year, you could build a seven-figure business. It's no surprise that these videos racked up 80% dislike ratios, along with comments such as, bros on that Waluigi diet. Is this Andrew Tate from Wish? I'd be amazed if you could even open the door on a supercar, let alone drive it. My dude, everyone can smell your insecurity. Tone it down a bit and put on some damn muscle, although Jason simply stated that the hatred boosted engagement. I love the comments because the comments boost my engagement. So whenever I make these videos, people get so pissed off. They're like, what do you know about the gym? However, it'd be when Penguin Zero posted this video that Jason began to think about some of his past choices. Today I want to take a look at what happens when all you do is fake it without ever making it. You end up like this loser we're about to take a look at today. Charlie began by watching this TikTok. Let's take you for example and me. And we both pull up and we go to your girl. Odds are I'm going to take that bitch. If you compared me to you, you're not going to win that battle. After which he'd state. Bro's out here rocking that man dark body type and acting like he for some reason be able to take your girl just because he rolled up in a rented McLaren. This guy's entire person personality is money. He's like a real life Mr. Krabs, but with even skinnier arms. Which is followed by the prediction that Jason wasn't all that wealthy. Why I don't believe him about the success of his business is because the only thing he shows that's worth money is his car. So that leads me to believe that it is 100% rented or he really dumped all of his money into that one vehicle in order to portray himself as a successful businessman. In a different TikTok, Jason made the claim that you can only protect a woman if you make more than 100k per year, resulting in another the roast. And making more than 10k a month doesn't enable you to magically protect her better. If someone's making a ruckus and you're trying to stop whatever's going on, you can't just be like throwing money at it like, get away from her you scallywag.
Swag, she's with me, and I make more than 10k a month. Here's money. Before Charlie showed the worst TikTok Jason ever made. Here's why the gym does not matter. I'm tired of guys that are like, oh, you know, I'm going to the gym, I'm trying to get fit. I feel like I have pretty decent tone. I don't need to go to the gym, eh? because you pull up to the gym making less than 10k a month, and I pull up, I'm on the floor, and it's not even a contest. Most of the guys that go to the gym, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you're f stupid. All that pre-workout that you're taking is making you more stupider. Describing him like this. But he's out here built like two french fries duct taped to an uncooked spaghetti noodle. While roasting him even further. He actually sounds like he's about to cry. You're stupid with your dumb muscles, dumb muscle man. What in the crazy insecurity are you going through right now to think that this was a good idea? The video received comments such as, he's the type of guy who thinks just earning a lot of money will make a girl like him. And while Jason Wojo could have taken his scolding silently, this isn't what he'd do. Within only 13 minutes of the video going live, Jason had left a comment reading, keep giving me views, making my reaction video now to this clown, which was uploaded approximately two hours later with the title, this guy is pathetic, Penguin Zero said this about me. Jason began his response by bragging about his cars. I don't only own a McLaren. I used to have a 570S that was white. It's a convertible drop top. Got a yellow Maserati, then got bored. And I was like, I gotta get another McLaren. So I have a McLaren, a Maserati Ghibli. That's a one of five, by the way. The keys are right here. Before making the claim that Charlie was of low status because he couldn't pronounce McLaren. He says the name wrong like eight times in a row. It's not McLaren, it's McLaren. Okay, so that's how we know this guy doesn't really have a lot of status. He doesn't understand these things. Jason then tried to claim that Charlie was wasn't very successful. That just shows you how unexperienced he is of trying to attain success and whatnot. Although if you take Jason's earlier mentioned net worth of 3 million and compare it to Penguin Zero's net worth according to Google, it seems Jason accidentally roasted himself. Don't be mad that Charlie has a higher net worth than you. Despite this, Jason went on to imply that he was better at making videos. I honestly feel bad. Like, dude, 12 million subs, I would put together a better video than this. Before challenging Charlie to a fight. We should do a boxing match with him. I'll box this guy. I'll, I'll, I'll do something with him. However, judging from the video's dislike ratio and comment section, Jason had already begun to take a beating. When your response is two and a half times longer than the original video. Yeah, super confident, bro. He definitely didn't get to you. Nothing screams alpha male like getting hurt by a joke. Bro, you make Sneeko look like a genius. The insecurity levels are off the charts. Penguin stated that he wasn't a fan of milking drama excessively. I don't usually like to go back and respond to their response. However, it seemed Jason needed another spanking as Charlie Charlie then returned to roast him again. It was by this guy, Penguins, whatever his name is. Brother, you have the video up on the screen. What do you mean, Penguins, whatever his name is? You could have just opened your eyes. Are you too wealthy to just read? Penguins went through everything from Jason's fight offer. If you challenge someone to a fight because they hurt your feelings, that's an embarrassing look for you. To the outrageous claims about how much money is needed to live. He proudly proclaims that life doesn't start till you're making 30k a month, and that there's absolutely no excuse for somehow making less than 10k a month. Month. This is a guy who lost touch with reality long, long ago. With Charlie's second takedown receiving over 7 million views. However, Jason still wasn't finished. Only one day after getting roasted again, he'd upload a second 41 minute response, this time speaking in a much angrier tone. I'm the most trending person on the internet right now. I was on like two yachts yesterday doing interviews in Miami. I'm still here right now. This time around, Jason's attacks were significantly more personal. He's recording this video again, wearing the same shirt. Does this man change his clothes? However, it seemed he'd forgotten about the time he made this video. I wear the same shirt every day. Like, literally not kidding. You have three of these shirts and I just swap them every day. I have four shirts. I don't change at all. I wear the same sweatpants. I just swap them out. Despite this, Jason spent the entire video bitterly providing petty responses. Penguins or whatever his name is. I don't know if the zero means anything. Also, if you get that triggered by the fact that I said that, that's a massive insecurity. You want people to pronounce your name correctly when it's an animal that's in the Arctic with a zero on the end and you spelt it Wrong. In the process, accidentally admitting that he pays $4,900 a month for the McLaren. If I was to rent the McLaren every single day, you're actually giving me a compliment. It means that I have the funds to pay for that, which I could, but I'm not going to because it's a dumb financial choice. $60,000 a month instead of the $4,900 a month that I pay for the car. Throughout the video, Jason insinuated that Charlie's fan base was stupid. 12 million subs must not be hard to get when you have zero, zero, zero attention span or zero intellect. You will not 
not talk about the topics that I'm talking about because they're high-level topics. Which almost guaranteed that Jason still had further to fall. He'd rack up a further million views worth of hatred after Pancho posted this video, which Jason once again responded to. This guy has a John Cena poster in the back. Like, why would you have another man in your bedroom? After which he'd go on a tirade responding to every video about him. However, it seemed Jason began to realize that his responses weren't exactly giving him the growth he might have wanted. His YouTube viewership disappeared in the month after the drama, while his Twitter didn't explode either. His Instagram lost almost 3,000 followers over the same period, after which people stopped talking about Jason for roughly three months. That would be until Marky, the YouTuber we mentioned earlier, uploaded this video titled TikToker Threatens Me With Cease and Desist. My DMs don't work. Email me, Jason, at wardrobemedia.com as I have a cease and desist to send you from my legal team to take the video down. As mentioned, Jason was attempting to silence Marky for talking about how Jason hadn't paid his editors. As a result, Marky gave him this offer. How about this instead? If you're willing to solve the issue and pay the editors the money they are owed, which is a very small amount in comparison to the amount you say you earn, then my video becomes void, in which case I will delete it. After which Jason actually started to pay some of the unpaid workers. Three of them have been fully paid what they believe they are owed. Quite a few of them have been partially paid now, and there's a few that also haven't been paid. However, the most notable part of the video was when Jason stated this. I stepped away from these clickbaity videos to clean the image because it wasn't worth the virality. I don't want to do the viral videos I was doing, and I deserve to do what I want to do. There's been no viral videos going out, and I don't want to do that posting anymore, although the messages which followed after showed that Jason is still yet to humble himself. Using my name to make money is funny. Shows you actually how much my image is worth. I'll be back to make better videos, but I'm cleaning up my agency due to the increased business that we have gotten from the attention, although in the case of Jason Wojo, it's impossible to separate fact from fiction. 